Hello. I want to talk to you about scanning. Whether you're doing it with paper, for instance, such as this, or transparencies, or negatives, it makes no difference. They should all come out the same. In this case, this is a negative, and these are, one of, these are the ones I'm going to be scanning to start with. So the first thing we do is that we load the scanner with the negatives. Make sure they're the right way around, and the scanning head is on the top, so the emulsion has to face upwards. And we carefully do a bit of dusting to make sure there's no dust on there, but you can't get rid of all of it. And we can do some bit retouching later. Now once we've done that, we find the scanner driver, the software, and we click on that. And after a moment or two, the software opens up. Now what you have here, this is an Epson scanner, and at the top we have it's I have it set on professional mode because that's what I do. And it has auto mode and home mode. Now you can try though either of those. Now I've got this set to film, but it shows reflective or film. And I've got it on colour negative because that's what I'm gonna do, but there's positive film and this black and white negative film. Now I, I always leave this at 24 bit colour unless I'm doing black and white. And I tend to leave the resolution at 300 dots per inch. Now that's because that's just the way I prefer it. If you're scanning for colour and for magazines, 300 dots per inch was pretty much the norm for newspaper magazines. And then you just do a preview. Now because it takes a little while to do these things, I, I've edited out quite a bit of the time that it takes. But this is what you see. Now we've got two pictures that come in. Um, we turn this one off because we don't want that one. We're going to look at this one on the right. Just turn it around so I can see it the right way up. Yes, that's definitely the one. And uh, go back to the thumbnail. Now I have to highlight the area I want. So I draw a line, a little square around it rectangle around it. I don't know if you can see that but it's like the marquee tool on the Photoshop. Now I've gone in to select the, the size I want and I'm going for a 7 by 5 picture or 5 by 7. Now just at the bottom here there are a number of tools that you can use and I'll, I'll just show you one of them. This is a Curves um, palette. Now you can alter this if you want. I don't bother because it's pretty good anyway and I do any alteration I want in Photoshop so all I do now is go to scan give it a name and it's saved it's saved to the desktop and then it just scans now again it's going to take a little while so I edit out all the bit in between and then it'll pop up in a minute. Again, it's on the desktop, so we've got rid of this page. We hide that. And I go and find the picture, drag it in, open it up in Photoshop. There's the picture, and we open it up in Photoshop. Rotate it, go to image, image rotation, and anti-clockwise counterclockwise it says. That's not bad is it? Not bad. No, it just needs a little tweaking so I'm just going to go into levels which I do by hitting command or control L. Okay then. Now I want to go into the sharpening bit so I'm going to go up to filter, sharpen an unsharp mask. Now there are some little white bits here that you can just see. I don't know if you can see them on your on your monitor, but they're there, and you can yes you can stamp them out with the little stamp tool. But it's going to take a little while to do. But there's an even better way of doing it. 
when we actually scan. So we're going to go back to the scan. I'm going to save this one. Give it a slightly different name. Now, I don't have to do anything else. I just now go up to the top here and drag this little slider down. All the way to the bottom. Now on the left there, we've got unsharp mask. Grain reduction, colour restoration, dust removal, and digital ICE, which is the one I'm really interested. Um, background colour is something to do with scanning for shadows. Anyway, we put the now that's done. I, I cut out all the time, so so space on the video. I open this up in Photoshop. Just drop it on that icon and it opens it up. And there we go. And if I pull this in quite close, a bit more, there's not a spot on it. That's absolutely amazing. But it just wants sharpening up now. So I go up to filter, unsharp mask. Oh, come on, good to get up together. And I give it a slightly little bit more. Than before, and that's it. I'll save that. Now we're going to do a print. Now I put a print on the scanner, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this. It's no different. We get a preview. Now what you've got here, you, there, you've got the reflective, it's on reflective, and then it's, you've got document table, and then you've got photos. And the resolution stays the same, 24-bit colours the same, and I did the preview. Now what I do is now highlight uh, the area I want, and again I'm going to select 7x5 as my target size. Okay. And um, just might need a little tweaking to get it into position and bring it into the picture, top and bottom. Okay, that's about it. And I'm going to scan it. Oh, I'm going to set uh, dust removal and unsharp mask off because I don't like them. I'll give it a name. Call it red and OK, and then it will scan it. They haven't made it out most of the scan. Now close that down, find the image which is at the top there, drag it into Photoshop, rotate it. and uh, sharpen it. I'll do some level tweaking. So it doesn't need an awful lot. That's the, that's the beauty of this scanner. I'm, I'm quite amazed really. And so we're going to sharpen it so I'll pull it up to see what, we can, what we're going to do. Oh look, I've just found a little spot on the door in the distance so I'm going to do that. Oh, that's got it. And we go up to sharpen, sharpen, uh, unsharp mask, highlight that, yes, oh look there's a little spot there which I'm going to deal with, just on the eyelash. Uh, just, I don't know if you can see it but there it's just done that. And that's all there is to it. 